Most people are completely sleeping on one of the biggest AI opportunities going into 2026. And the reason they are missing it is because it doesn't look flashy yet. It doesn't feel like a viral trend, but that's exactly why it's such a powerful opportunity. In this video, I wanna show you what I believe is one of the most overlooked skills in AI right now and why the next one to three years are going to be massive for anyone who gets into it early. I'm talking about voice AI. The voice AI market is already worth billions of dollars and it's projected to grow aggressively over the next few years as businesses replaced human handled phone work with AI agents. Customer support, receptionists, appointment booking, lead qualification, all of that is already being automated and adoption is accelerating fast. Here's the important part. This isn't a someday thing. Businesses are already using voice AI today and the technology has reached a point where in many cases it's becoming indistinguishable from a real person on the phone. And if that sounds familiar, it should because this is a very similar to where automation tools like NADN were at the beginning of 2025. Back then, only a small group of people, including myself, really understood how powerful automation was going to become. That's why I started making content around NADN specifically, because most businesses hadn't adopted it yet, but the ones who did early gained a huge advantage. Voice AI is at the same exact stage right now, except demand is moving even faster. What's driving this growth is simple. Businesses are overwhelmed, phone calls are expensive, support teams don't scale, customers expect instant responses and hiring more people is no longer the most efficient solution. And voice AI fixes that. AI voice agents can answer calls 24 seven. They can book appointments. They can route calls. They can answer common questions. They can qualify leads before a human ever gets involved. And they can do all of this without breaks, without sick days and without increasing payroll. That's why businesses are adopting this so quickly. And this is the key reframe most people miss. Voice AI isn't about replacing people just for the sake of it. It's about removing friction. It's about speed. It's about cost. It's about consistency. Those are the things businesses will always pay for. Now, here's where the real opportunity shows up. As voice AI adoption increases, the number of businesses that need help implementing it is exploding. But the number of people who actually know how to build, deploy, and manage voice AI system is still very small. That gap demand being far greater than supply is where consultants and builders win. If you want to become an AI consultant, voice AI is one of the easiest services to sell. Businesses already understand phone problems. You don't have to convince them they need help. They already know they do. All you're doing is offering a better solution and people are already getting paid for this. Inside my community, members are closing voice AI clients right now. Some are working with local businesses. Some are working with online businesses. Some are building simple voice agents that replace receptionists or booking systems and charging them monthly retainers. Here's an example of Libis who recently closed a $22,000 build client with a $1,500 monthly retainer, which is an incredible opportunity for anybody who's just starting with AI automation. So this isn't just theory, it's happening today. Now let's talk about why the platform matters. Of course, not all voice AI tools are equal. Many are overly technical, hard to configure, or impractical for real business use. That's why platforms like Retail AI stand out right now. And again, I'm not sponsored by Retail AI. This is not a sponsored video. I've just been using them for the past year and they're absolutely incredible. Retail is powerful, but more importantly, it's usable. You can build real client-ready voice agents without needing deep engineering skills. Businesses can understand the value immediately, and that's a huge reason why adoption is accelerating. When a platform is both powerful and easy to deploy, growth compounds fast. That's exactly what we're seeing right now in the voice AI space. And this leads to one of the most important points in this video. The next one to three years are likely going to be the best window to get into voice AI. Once every business already has a voice agent, the opportunity becomes competitive. But right now, we're still early. This is the phase where learning the skills give you leverage. If you're looking for the fastest path to your first AI client, voice AI is hard to beat. It solves a clear problem, it has obvious ROI, and businesses are actively searching for people who can implement them. That's exactly why we put such a heavy focus on voice AI in some of my community. We teach voice AI from the ground up. We show how to build real agents, how to deploy them for businesses, and how to position them as a paid service. There's also a clear path to becoming a certified voice AI partner, which helps with credibility and trust when talking to clients. Our community AI workshop is the only community that's able to offer 
voice AI certification with retail AI outside the platform themselves. Because once you become voice AI certified expert, you then get listed on their website where then that shows credibility that you can go in front of customers and they will immediately know that you know what you're doing. Now, of course, could you learn all of this on your own through scattered videos and trial and error? Yes, of course you could, but it usually takes 10 times longer because the information is fragmented and unstructured. So if you want to learn voice AI faster with guidance from people already doing this and a focus on practical system businesses are paying for right now, then I would love for you to check out the community. The link is going to be in the description. I'll hopefully see you inside the community. If not, I truly wish you good luck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.